Hello, in this video, I'm going to talk about the components of a reflex arc. Uh, so first we start with a stimulus. So the arrival of a stimulus at a sensory receptor uh, could be anywhere in the body, any type of stimulus. Uh, then impulses are carried from the sensory receptor along a sensory neuron to the central nervous system. Um, so a stimulus arrives, it triggers a sensory receptor, which activates impulses in a sensory neuron. Uh, so those impulses travel and are carried to the brain and or spinal cord, depending on whether it's a spinal reflex or a cranial reflex. Um, once it arrives at the central nervous system, then integration takes place. So there's an integrating center wherever that uh, sensory neuron arrives. Um, so that's gray matter, which is where we have neuronal cell bodies. Uh, so it's gray matter either in the spinal cord or in the brain that integrates the incoming sensory information and relays it to a motor neuron. So the motor neuron is what is going to carry the plan, the response to whatever that stimulus was that, that we detected. So the motor neuron carries impulses from the integrating center along the pathway of the motor neuron to the part of the body that's going to respond. Uh, so the part of the body that receives the signal and responds is called an effector. Effectors are always muscles or glands. So that can be smooth muscle, skeletal muscle, or glands. So they're receiving that motor signal from the motor neuron to have some kind of response um, to whatever that stimulus was that triggered the reflex arc in the first place. All right. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one.